Welcome. Hey guys, welcome to Rage. Welcome to Rage, where everything is all the rage or should be. I'm Sarah. And I'm Brian. And today we have a special guest with us. Yep. Sue Jonas. Yes, Sue Jonas. Yes, and she hails from Crabtree and Evelyn and is the creator of their new aromatherapy distillations collection. Welcome to the show. Welcome Thank to you. the show, Sue. So, now you've been doing aromatherapy for a long time. Yes, I have. Longer yes. than I, I'm going to admit. Longer than you're going to admit? No. <laughs> now, uh, how long have you been doing aromatherapy? Um, actually, I've been doing aromatherapy since the uh, late 80s. Oh. Okay, yeah, so oh, around she's when doing we were the born. math. <laughs> yeah, around when we were That's a good thing. I'm not, I'm not good at math. <laughs> yeah. And since the late 80s, was that even uh, fashionable at that time? Well, I was just starting. I was uh, traveling in Europe. Uh -huh. And um, I began hearing in France about aromatherapy, that you could use um, essential oils and aroma to affect your moods and state of mind. And I became fascinated by this. Yeah, you, we heard that uh, you can actually uh, affect your emotions and, you know, calm yourself down, make yourself help, happy and perky. Now, how can aromatherapy actually do that? Well, um, when you inhale and, and smell an aroma, mm -hmm. um, well, right, right here, we have lavender and vanilla, mm -hmm. uh, tonka mm. bean and violet um, in the burner. Okay, so and there's as you're violet smelling and tonka bean in this. Yes. Okay. Okay, and um, what's tonka bean? Oh, tonka bean is very interesting. It's a it's a uh, black colored bean. Uh, I think we have a South photo. America. Can you see a photo of the tonka bean? There we go. Oh, yeah. Tonka bean. Oh, tonka and that bean. hasn't been treated yet. So um, this is pre-treatment. Yeah. So this is natural form. Uh, yes, that's a natural form. But like, what they do in uh, South America, they soak soak it in rum for in fifteen rum? days. Oh, wow! <laughs> well, lots of fun. And um, I don't know what they do with rum it can't afterwards. Be eaten? But no, no, you oh. shouldn't eat it. Oh. But then you t you take the the bean uh -huh. and you then dry it, and it shrivels much further than that. Uh -huh. So it becomes and like a little some white uh, powder starts to come out on it. You can see it over there yeah, in the picture. Yeah, a bit of powder. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then they take those and they bring them to the distillery and they um, uh, steam distill. And the oil that they get out is um, uh, very sweet oh. and very soothing, very calming, sedative. And uh, it's an oil that was used for massage and for other um, uh, treatments, you know, way back, Aztec and Mayan times. Mm -hmm. So, so is, that, like is it the same history? way uh, how they get uh, uh, perfumes from, from like flowers and... Distillation. The, yeah, the distillation, yeah. The, the oils from the, the essence of these uh, little... Of the plants. Of the plants. We have to explain yeah. a lot to Brian because he knows nothing about yeah. aromatherapy I smell really and bad. smells. So, yes, but Brian, you know, after this, you're going to smell better. Thank you. Yes. I'm, yeah. I'm beginning yeah. today. Yeah. So, inhaling this, mm -hmm. um, y you should be feeling a sense of relaxation, a sense of calm, mm -hmm. and, um, and that's how it can it affect you. So, the, the therapy, mental... Um, and, and physical support comes to you through the inhalation. So because this you is have good for night? Yeah. Oh, great for night. Great for night. Yeah. Always if you need to go to sleep or not. Uh, oh, <laughs> if you need to go to sleep or not. She okay. added the oh, or not. I like this already. <laughs> wink, wink. Uh huh. Yeah, and so what, what, what else is good for relaxation? Um, well, lavender is really the main ingredient that everybody likes mm -hmm. to use. Uh -huh. We have an oil here. We have a, a lavender oil. Now, these are um, all the essential oils, these right? These are the pure essential oils that are distilled. Mm -hmm. And there are many ways of distilling oil okay. with steam. Um, also, if it's a citrus, um, we have quite a bit of citrus in, now, in these products. You're going to press the oil out with pressure. Okay. Um, so, so when you when you put like essential oils, are they only used in like an aromatherapy burner, or can you use them in other ways? Well, we've used the essential oils. Um, we've mixed it with the salts. We've mixed it with all of the, the products. We've done very special blends. So essential uh, oils are like the so like the base uh, ingredient in aromatherapy. Or? It's the the essential oils. Um, you know are. Um, what affects your moods? It, the, it's the aromatic part of the plant that's distilled. I can smell down. mothership going off and, behind. And <laughs> it's used also in perfumery. Okay. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, but what we've done with aromatherapy, it's purposeful perfumery because okay. we blend the ingredients that we know will calm you. That so we it, know each will smell has a purpose. Revitalize you. Absolutely. Ah, so it, you can choose one to suit your mood or choose one to change your mood in a way. Exactly. Exactly. Now we know what to use around yeah. the big boss. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does it relax? <laughs> it does. It does. Does it, 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 it 
<laughs> patchouli oil. Patchouli, patchouli oil. Yeah. Now, what's patchouli usually used for? Um, for relaxation. Um, as well. Also, it has some antiseptic qualities. Antiseptic? So, yeah. So, it, so you, know, you can put it like on... Well, we're not going to recommend those kinds of things. I'm not a medical doctor, but historically... Historically, it's yes, been used. It's been used. These were the medicines that were used by... Um, um, by societies when they, we didn't have antibiotics mm -hmm. and we didn't have drugs and I medicine. See. So the the the, uh, the history is very long. So it's like uh, all the way back to the witch doctor ages. Yeah. Like shamans <laughs> and yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You look like one. You could be one today. I'm not a shaman. Come on. <laughs> you can look like a witch doctor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what else do you have for us? Yeah, I mean, there's so many different well, things. I'll we'll show you a couple of things. Sight, sound, uh, so, smell. Okay, if you need to be calmed down, okay. there are yes. a couple of things that you can do. This is instant. Um, you you light your tea light. Um, mm -hmm. You pour some of the oil um, into the burner, the burner with a little bit of water. The and steam it. floats up. Okay, fills the room, and you know immediately it um, is inhaled. Mood. Mood, yes, because you're going to be inhaling, and your um, the limbic portion of your brain, which is very close to the emotional yep. section of your brain, perceives this, and you're kind of hardwired. To start relaxing, or you ah. might be so the effects are instantaneous. <laughs> it's very quick, very very quick. We should ask our yes. boss to come in. Yeah. <laughs> so you can also you can put this in a bath. Um, the vapors mm -hmm. will rise. You'll inhale those, and it can relax you too. But well, one thing I didn't understand was the bath salts. Now I always thought that when you put bath salts into water, you have to put bubble bath in mm -hmm. as well. But apparently that's not true because I thought like oh you know a bath it's only a bath when you have foam. Oh right? no! no th this doesn't create any foam. Yeah, it doesn't. But you no, don't have to what add it does is it, you know, you add. You can add this bottle, uh -huh. um, which smells really nice, cup. by the way. It does. Smell it like you would never it's think sea salt, salt smell like that. But I don't know well, why. because we have oils with it. But not only do we have sea salts, we have sea salts from seven different seas, because oh they're different mineral across contents. the seven seas. Yes, yes. yes. Salts from the seven seas. So if seas. you open these up. You'll going see to search for love across the seven seas, right? They're all different colors. Okay. Oh, and, and they all have different, different textures, all textures and minerals. And this is when you um, we we made a mix. Uh huh. <coughs> mm -hmm. Are they all edible? Um, well, they they would <laughs> be because actually um, I use this for cooking. Oh wow! Um, wow. Before I put the essential oils on it, What's that? it's the gray sea salt. Wow! It, from Brittany, really delicious. And uh, they all taste a little different. I mean, they're... they're like everyone has a different taste, yes, right? Like, yeah. And they all look different. Like the crystals, some of them yep. are bigger, some are rougher. Right. So some of them are going to dissolve faster and mineralize the water and mineralize your skin, and then others will more slowly. Mm -hmm. um, do you put it just in the water, or do you, like, scrub it on yourself first and then you soak? Um, what, what this is designed What's to do is just go right into the water, uh -huh. um, three-quarters of a cup, big, beautiful bottle. Yeah. And... Um, we also have mixed in um, seaweed mm -hmm. and um, uh, the, all the essential oils. Uh, the lime. The up that I know there's a citrusy kind of smell, so lime Absolutely. is inside. Absolutely, yes. I see that you have basil inside. I would have thought that it sounds like a dish. <laughs> so you're going to no. smell edible <laughs> after a bath in this, right? Not delicious. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, yum, yeah. yum. yeah but it really um, uh, you know, it pulls uh, the toxins. From your skin, this is a uh, purifying for your skin, mm -hmm. and the uh, aroma um, helps to uh, give you focus. So when you get out of having um, one of these baths, you are really ready to focus. You've cleared away all the cobwebs. I mean, you are ready to go. So You're good for a morning bath. Uh, yeah. It's fabulous for a morning bath, or you have to get your second wind. Ah, um, that works too. So if you mm -hmm. only have a shower, how would you use this? How would I use this? Yeah. Um, well, it only works in the bar, not in the shower. Well, what you could do is you could um, uh, oh, so you take can. a handful, um, gather it up, tie it, yep. uh -huh. and use it. Scrub. Yeah. Oh. Make a scrub. Yep. Oh my gosh, I've yeah. never known you could use that. So that's yeah. like a different way you can use bath salts. Yes. I always thought you yeah. have to have a big, huge bathtub. And you know, because Singapore, all our bathrooms are really small, mm -hmm. we have like those small yeah. showers. So, you know, you can't take a long, luxurious mm -hmm. bath like that unless mm -hmm. you rent a hotel room, mm -hmm. you know, so, yeah. But no, yeah. that's a nifty idea, yeah. So, yeah. so that's a way to get yourself revitalized. Uh, then, of course, you can always um, re um, get yourself um, 
totally refreshed using this eucalyptus in line. It's a body lotion, right? Body lotion. Yeah. Yeah. But you can use it all, you know, all Everywhere. Over. Yes. Now, I, I use this um, when I go to Pilates class. I'll put it on before I start class. Mm -hmm. It really helps me with the aroma why, to why, stay why focused. Oh, okay. And, you know, pay attention and, and really um, concentrate on small muscle movements. And it's also very refreshing because my skin is tingling from the peppermint. I feel energized and refreshed. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll let uh, Brian try some. And let in the meantime, we're going to go for a short, short mm. break mm. while Brian's enjoying the smells of his hands. And we'll be back very soon. Mm.